When the Met Office publish a three-month outlook, it can attract a lot of attention. But second-hand reports of this outlook can oversimplify its content. In reality, a single outcome is not predicted. Different scenarios – wet, dry, warm, cold – are given different likelihoods. It's a bit like placing odds on different horses winning in the Grand National. The favourite doesn't always win. Understandably, horses, like humans, aren't entirely predictable. In the 1928 Grand National, Tipperary Tim started the race with odds of 100 to 1. His jockey, William Dutton, heard a friend call out to him, Billy boy, you'll only win if all the others fall. And they did. Every single other horse fell during the race, which was held in misty conditions following a month of rain. Tipperary Tim escaped unscathed and claimed the longest odds victory in Grand National history. It would not have been easy to predict that sequence of events ahead of the race. But the weather can be predicted. We do it every day. It will rain tomorrow. 15 degrees is expected this weekend. However, seasons, or three-month periods, are different compared with the weather for tomorrow or next weekend. First, there won't be one consistent type of weather. It won't be hot and sunny every day of the UK summer, but it won't rain every day either. In a wetter-than-average summer, there'll probably be a heat wave or two. Even in a milder-than-average winter, there'll probably be a few cold snaps. A three-month outlook looks at how the averages are likely to turn out once the day-to-day -day variability is smooth. The likelihood of temperature and rainfall ending up above, below or close to the long-term average for the whole three-month period is assessed. Computer models can help, especially if a consensus emerges. But we also look at teleconnections. Teleconnections are features of the atmosphere or oceans in one part of the world that can have a ripple effect on weather patterns in another part of the world, even if they are thousands of miles apart. Meteorologists study all sorts of teleconnections, from rainfall patterns in the tropics to ice coverage in the Arctic. Wind circulations high above the equator or even in the polar stratosphere are also important to consider. Not forgetting the oscillating temperatures in the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. All of these can influence weather patterns in the UK on timescales from weeks to months in the future. Sometimes computer models and several teleconnections will favour a certain outcome. Other times there won't be a clear favourite. But just like a horse race, no outcome is guaranteed. Some are simply more likely than others. That's why the odds for different seasonal outcomes are not particularly useful for most of us. Not even for those punters who place bets on a white Christmas or the Grand National. Three-month outlooks cannot and do not go into those kinds of specifics. They are useful for contingency planners who need to plan several months ahead and factor in the risk of various seasonal scenarios. And the reality is, those kinds of forecasts don't exactly make gripping headlines. Thank you for watching this video about how seasonal forecasts work and why we always have to give probabilities of certain flavours of season rather than certainties. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out our Up in the Air playlist for more and make sure you subscribe so you never miss an update. Catch you next week.